Hi everyone, my name's Emma. I am a lactation consultant um, and I'm based in Newcastle in New South Wales. So I'm part of the Blossom Antenatal Volunteer Team, which is a privilege um, and really something special to be a part of. And today I wanted to share some information with you about laid back breastfeeding positions, um, which sometimes, yeah, you, so you may have heard of it or you may not have. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things to share with women. Um, and it's something that I really recommend that you get confident and um, to use frequently, especially after, you know, in those first early weeks. So that's probably one of the main, not one of the main, but one of the first topics we'll talk about is being comfortable. So we breastfeed, you know, we breastfeed babies so often and frequently and, um, and that's so normal, but we want to be comfy when we do it. It makes no sense to be stuck in some funny, weird tense position, shoulder up, push, you know, like out. We want to be comfy. Yeah. We don't want to be all skew if. Yeah. So we want to be as comfy as possible. Um, the second thing is that when you do lay back breastfeeding, some scientific, I don't know the reasoning why, but I do know that when you um, lay back in your lounge or lean back in your bed, instead of sitting upright like I am now and your, my pelvis is up like this, but when you lean back and your pelvis rotates back like this, um, it actually increases your oxytocin in your bloodstream. And oxytocin is one of the main hormones for breastfeeding. And it's also your happy love bonding hormone, um, which is going to promote that strengthening, that bond and that relaxation that you're going to feel with breastfeeding. Um, so they're two points and they're pretty cool. Um, and one of the main things that I like to talk about is the neonatal primitive reflexes. So um, these babies that we have are born with these reflexes um, and they use them to survive essentially like any other mammal, like you think of a little kitten or a um, puppy and they're born actually with their eyes closed and then they manage to crawl to their mother's chest or abdomen and find the nipple to be able to feed and that's how they survive. And now human babies to a degree have these same instincts, have these reflexes to enable them, you know, to let us know what their needs are. And... Sometimes we just get a little bit caught up and we want to help them along. But when we give them that time and that opportunity and to be calm and relaxed about it, um, when we reduce our anxiety and allow these babies to show us, so, you know, they can actually have a capacity to become part of this team to feed, you know, this feeding experience. And so if we can promote them to use their bodies how they've been designed, it can really optimize our, you know, experience and how yeah, how baby's going to feed. So it takes two to tango. It's not just about how, you know, how we are or, you know, what the breasts or the nipples are like or our, if we've breastfed before or our previous experience or what birth was like, but there's little people involved. And if we can um, encourage them to use these reflexes and, um, yeah, then it makes it a much nicer experience too. So essentially it's just... Moving your bottom forward in the chair, so it's something you can do out and about as well and be modified here and there. And, you you know, like anything, we get confidence with it. But I really encourage mums to do this position for a couple of weeks, especially after bub's born, and just to be confident in feeding like this and to get baby to be active, actively participating in breastfeeding experience. Especially if you're having challenges or there's nipple pain, um, this can be really really kind of a big change in the experience so it's just moving your bottom forward and then you lean back so you're going to lean back in your chair or your bed using your pillows you can be sitting kind of semi upright like here or you can be even further laying back so the further you go back um, the more that your body will support um, your baby so in this position here my body is actually supporting the weight of baby I'm not actually having to hold them or rely on too many pillows or awkward positions to hold and baby is tummy to tummy and having that full contact so they're feeling safe and grounded and then if you think of a little baby like a newborn turtle when a newborn turtles on their back they're completely helpless and they cannot do a thing hoping someone will come and help them and that's what these newborns are like you know they're on their backs and we they're totally self-reliant on us okay our mums the mums and dads to look after them but when we put our babies on their tummies then they're able to be in control of their bodies to a certain degree yeah so in this position here these primitive neonatal reflexes they use about 25 feeding reflexes just for breastfeeding which is amazing okay this is amazing stuff 
And when we're patient, we can allow these reflexes to come to life when they're in this position. So when they're feeling that contact with your legs and with your tummy, they're able, and you know, you might notice this if you're doing skin to skin or if you've done it at birth, it's very similar. They're having that contact and they're actually doing a stepping and a crawling reflex. And this is to actually go forward. So it's easier for them to go forward to the breast than to go backwards. So they're going to go up towards the breast. They can go backwards. It doesn't mean they can't. Um, and then they're actually going to use their palm grass. So they, you know, they grab on. So they're going to reach out and feel for the nipple and feel for the breast. They're also going to do um, head bobbing and head riding. So they're able to lift their head to a degree and to do that rooting reflex where they can feel that nipple and do that whole wide open mouth where they feel it and then they go ah, like that and, and want to draw that nipple into their mouth. So we're comfy. Okay, baby's comfy. We want to stroke them. We want to talk to them. We want to be patient and we want to feel relaxed too. We don't have to hurry the process. So it's a good idea to do this when baby's not screaming and ravenous, but in that quiet alert state when you know that feeding's going to be soon. And you're going to allow your baby to look for the breasts themselves. So you want to allow them to do a bit of a wiggle and a worm and lift their head and they'll go backwards and forth and they'll take a few goes to give it a go. But if we're patient and we just use our arm to gently support them, so if they, sometimes they move in a hurry, we're there to catch them, yeah? And then they're able to do that natural position where when they're feeding, when they're at the breast, they're going to extend their head back like this and their chin is going to drop down so they're open, wide open mouth and the chin should be pressed into the breast and their nose should be free, yeah? So that will naturally happen when they're here because they'll turn their head back to get to the breast. It also means that you've got a beautiful gaze. So when your baby's feeding there, this is a doll, remember? We wouldn't normally be moving this baby's head like this. But when the baby has got their head um, tilted back, that you can actually make that beautiful eye contact rather than often feeding them, you know, across your tummy and they're kind of looking under your arm sometimes. Um, but you can get quite comfy and just use that arm to support baby. You could do up your side like that, across like that. Anyway, even mums who have had cesarean sections and finding that tummy to be really tender then babies if you lay back even further are actually able with some help maybe from another person to help position but babies are actually are able to come over the shoulder and breastfeed so they don't mind where they are remember there's 360 degrees around your breast and they've technically got all of that opportunity to then come to the breast and feed even wiggling on your side a little bit like this so when you wiggle on your side and you're laying even on your side in bed or something, they can be on their knees, you know, on the bed and still coming to the breast. So it's just really having that contact where they're able to feel, um, they're able to use their body and able to be a part of that experience um, actively. So when they can sequence these reflexes in an order um, and get them right and they learn that they do the rooting reflex and they have the wide open mouth and their tongue comes forward and really grasps the nipple and it really you know they use their whole body to actively feed and when they can get these reflexes in order it really um really optimizes the breastfeeding experience and many mums will report that instantly the any pain that they've been experiencing has disappeared um, it often can help with babies with um, like whinge pain tummy pain because they're on their tummy to feed um, and I've had many mums say that it can really um the babies are much more settled after feeding but why not be comfy too you know like why not be comfy feeding we do it so often so i hope you've enjoyed um listening to my talk on laid back <coughs> sorry laid back breastfeeding and um if you have any other questions then don't sing out to ask somebody and um we hope that yeah you will enjoy your little one and all your birth experience and your breastfeeding experience okay see you later bye